You know what? I'm extremely pissed off. I am pissed off. Because everything I've been saying about a skinwalker has now been documented on Jack Osborne's portholes to hell. You son of a bitch. I am a huge fan of Ozzy Osbourne. I am a huge fan of his son. But I am very pissed off because this bastard got the go near Skidmarker Ranch. But Strawberry River Inn. I'll tell you something right now. The website is shut down. I think after this episode, they had to shut down. But they are literally... Navajo Indians that are on there talking about strange um, happenings. And to come to find out this lady staying at this inn at this episode, which aired 324. I think they must have did this probably last year or the beginning of this year or whatnot. Whenever they, how they run their episodes is a great, 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 great granddaughter of an Indian Navajo chief. Or the Utes. And um, there's two tribes. Them two tribes. I think she might be Navajo. And the Utes own that land that this property is on. And I said it when I got the first message from the guy who bought Skinwalker Ranch. I forgot to put up his name. Hopefully I remember to put it in this video. But that guy, that man, that guy said that the skinwalkers were made to keep enemies off their land. Now, not only have I said numerous times after that or even before that, I believe all these puckwudgies like skinwalkers, and then you got the Canada, um, Win Diego. These goddamn creatures, these spiritual creatures were made to keep enemies off the land. And this guy has been remodeling this place, mind you. This inn to have as a bed and breakfast. The Indians do not like it. The skinwalker does not like it. And I've been saying this through a lot before I even watched this. And this, of course, is the first aired tonight. My videos go back, way back. And, oh man, if this is, if anybody wants to check out this episode, um, there's the name of it, Strawberry River Inn. And you listen to them talk to the Native Americans through a fucking voice box and whatnot. And they say they're the Utes, and to get, and they, the people have been constantly told to get out, get out. A guy got possessed. His friend and buddy was spending the night there. He, this friend, got possessed. Told him to get out. So, with this being said, and like I always say, I have to uh, document it, which leads me to the screenshot of the mapping. That's right. There's where Skinwalker Ranch exists. In this, and it's all I can tell you right now. Um. Can I get that in here? Yeah. You know, all Native American Navajo areas. You know, natural forest. I believe I got it. What is this one? Oh no, this is from my, oh this is from the Jerome stuff, that's what I wanted to show. Look how far Arizona, New Mexico, right along the um, mapping there, that's Route 66, Route 40. Mind you, there's the area of uh, Skinwalker Ranch in that inn, it is not on Skinwalker Ranch, but is on the outskirts of Skinwalker Ranch. And that's why this place is being 
haunting. But just like Jerome, oh, and I forgot to do the, um, that I found another uh, thing. I, oh, I forgot to do that with, um, the singer there that's missing. And in one of his songs, I happened to look up a name because he talks about putting his feet in the, um, Stream. So you can get streams to creeks, to brooks, stream. Got something very interesting on that. But, uh, and that's why I had the mapping out here. But as you can see, all this area within this area is also down in Arizona, Navajo country. New Mexico, Navajo country. There's a lot of stuff in the UFO sightings, in the, you know, the um, ghost sightings, everything. And this is a huge triangle now. Huge triangle. I call this the Skinwalker Triangle. Because they, ro they roam these lands. And they're talking about portals. The people in this place talked about us. Um, a tile falling like out of this, out of like say the sort of the ceiling, portholes we're talking about, and it fell right in front of them. So, portholes, everything that the Skinwalker Ranch offers, everything I've been talking about, everything I caught, everything I've been doing, and it's all gathering up. It's all coming together. And I say these goddamn things travel too. Not just because, you know, they want to. It's because they have to. Because they know that the lands are being tampered with. And they had not had enough. And even in here on this, on this episode of, you know, Jack Osborne's Portholes from Hell. And the youth's spirits come through and say, leave, get out. They don't want you on their land. It's sacred. And that's why I say a lot of spirits getting riled up, especially here in Massachusetts. And the way the land's being built right now, Massachusetts, boy, and all this activity like that, market basket being haunted. I caught an image in there, boy. People think it was someone shopping, but it wasn't. And I'm right. I'm dead right now on what I've been saying. And that's this goddamn TV show backs me up. But I'm the little guy not being looked at. But now I have a place to go when I get my trips coming and experienced of where I want to go. <laughs> On this inn. Bed and breakfast, baby. It's my meal ticket. I bet you I get to this place, I will scream out the Yidna Lushi and see what I summons. This is a big to-do on my list. And I've been dying to find the closest possible way to get. And this is right here, but I don't know. The website says it's shut down. And the damn dog's been doing some funky shit around here. There's things going on in my house, so I've been meaning to set up the camera again, but still been, you know, this freaking coronavirus, man, locking everything down, shutting everything down. It's not getting good around here, I can tell you that. But I just wanted to share this, that anybody watches this epo episode is going to see of what I've been saying ever since I started the search of my own skinwalker. This is why. This is why. And they prove it tonight in this episode that I'm right of what I've been saying. Hey! Get in the back! Damn pug. Come on! Get. Go! I don't know what it is with this dog. Worse than a goddamn kid. All us roam up by the road and cargoes blasted by and 
squashing my little pug head. Excuse me, I have to tend to the pug and get him back. So, I advise anybody to go watch this video. I mean, this TV show. And if you look up my Skinwalker videos, way long dated before this, you'll see that I am right about the Skinwalker and what they're here for and purposes. And I think I can honestly... If I was to go to this place, which I'm going to try my damnedest to do, I'm going to um pay my respects in a huge way. Because, hey, these things were made to protect land and to keep the enemy away. And that's what happened back in the day. Stolen land, stolen this, you know, rip off for that. We'll use you for slavery. You know, it all goes back to why the Native Americans did this, because they knew what was going down was wrong. And to give and to open up to the white man when they first became into this new world and then stab these people in the back, us people, us Native Americans, that's right, I'm putting myself and labeling myself because I soon have to find what blood I am. Whether I'm the New York, Corning, New York, blood, or even up into Canada, as far as Ontario, that I can be what Native American blood I have. So, of course, I am here as an advocate for all the past Native Americans to speak the story of this. To me, I think I can become... One, not to be evil, but to become and take my part into, you know, paying my respect and, hell, giving the right to go on to this land and see what I can get up. But anyways, until that day comes, I'm going to try my damnedest to see what I can do, but my thoughts and theories have been backed up. And God damn it, it happened on a TV show without me. <laughs> so I'm going to go pout and cry in my bed tonight. Because I couldn't be there. <laughs> Until that next video be safe, take care. And always believe. Check it out. Portholes from hell. Jack Osborne. Strawberry River Bed and Breakfast. And you'll see that all along that I know what's the showdown on this. Give your perfect respect to the past, present, future Native Americans. <laughs>